Hi, my name is Reggie Hedal. What we've got here is a 1985 Baldwin SD10. It is a full size 9 foot concert grand and it was played by well known artists such as Liberace and Abby Simon. Unfortunately, this piano is no longer being produced today, but when it was being made, it competed heavily with Steinway and it graced the stage of many concert halls. I'm going to go over the features of this piano, what gives it its signature Baldwin tone, and then I'm going to go over the positives, and then the negatives, and then I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it before I do any work to it to give you a to give you an idea how it sounds like after 35 years of use. One of the features of this piano that you won't find in any other brand of piano is it's got these front termination pieces. It was developed by an engineer for ball one Harold Conklin and it increases sustain and projection in this very critical area, the melody section or the killer octave. Another feature of this piano is it's got vertical hitch pins. The vertical hitch pins increases the back scale length. The back scale length is from here to the bridge pin. A longer back scale length decreases the clamping effect and results in more sustain and power. One of the big positives about this piano is that it has spent its entire life in western Washington where the weather is temperate and humidity swings are minimal. The result is that the Soundboard assembly on this piano is far healthier than what you would normally find in a piano this age. As you look closer at this piano, you'll notice that the soundboard looks pristine. There are no cracks in it. Yes, it's a little bit dusty, but you look at the bridge, all the wood is light in color. And same with the action, all the action parts are light in color. When wood is subjected to humidity, the, it turns dark. Dampers, same with them, they're nice and white. And the strings don't have any rust on it. Bass strings, still shiny. Another positive of this piano is that it was not heavily used. Concert grands tend to be well used at this age and ragged out. But this piano is the exception. It was owned by a church and used for weekly services before I got it. Another positive about this piano is that it's got very nice tone. I service quite a few concert grands and in comparison this one is very good. It's got a roaring bass that is only found in concert grands and it's also got a singing treble in this critical area. Um, the action is also set up very nicely. Um, the touch weight is perfect. It's neither too heavy nor too light so it's easy to control. One of the negatives of this piano is the action needs to be regulated. Um, one of the things that's really apparent is the let off is not nearly close enough to the strings. It should be about one millimeter or less and this is far greater than that. I also notice that the dampers don't lift up early enough. Very late. 
that needs to be corrected. The next negative on this piano is that the hammers need to be voiced. There are some hammers that are harder than others. It's uneven. has a very metallic sound that needs to be brought down and evened out. And last but not least is this piano has some case blemishes. It's not so bad on the side but on the edges um, the locker has worn off. It's most noticeable around here and around here of course this doesn't affect performance in any way Thank you.